On Wednesday, March 22, 2023, the Federal Reserve raised the target range for its benchmark interest rate by a quarter percent as it battles stubborn inflation and a banking crisis. This has pushed the central bank into taking its most significant emergency actions since the onset of the pandemic. The rate hike brings the Fed's policy rate, the federal funds rate, to a new range of 4.75% to 5%, the highest since October 2007. The Fed, in its post-meeting statement said, quote, Recent developments are likely to result in tighter credit conditions for households and businesses and to weigh on economic activity, hiring, and inflation. The extent of these effects are uncertain, end quote. Since March 2022, the Fed has steadily raised its policy interest rate to making borrowing money more expensive, hoping to slow down spending and reduce inflation. In 2021, officials made four consecutive three-quarter point raise increases before reducing by half point in December and a quarter point in February. Fed policymakers noted in their release that job gains have been robust in recent months removing the previous line indicating that inflation had started to moderate. However, the failure of Silicon Valley Bank on March 10th and Signature Bank on March 12th of 2023 has created waves throughout the financial system, causing issues at other banks and leading to a comprehensive response from federal regulators. As suggested in the Fed statement, banking trouble could result in fewer business loans and mortgages. People who are looking to diversify their portfolio have many options to choose from. Companies like iTrust Capital provide alternative asset options such as cryptocurrency for people to invest in their IRA retirement accounts. To learn more, go to itrustcapital.com.